Pythonic way to return elements from an iterable as long as a condition based on previous element is true. I am working on some code that needs to constantly take elements from an iterable as long as a condition based on, or related to, the previous element is true. For example, let's say I have a list of numbers. And let's use a simple condition. The number does not differ from the previous number more than one. So the expected output would be Normally, hitatools.takewhile would be a good choice, but in this case it's a bit annoying because the first element doesn't have a previous element to query. The following code returns an empty list because for the first element the code queries the last element. I managed to write some ugly code to work around. However, I feel like there should be more Pythonic way to code this. Any suggestions? You can write your own version of takewhile where the predicate takes both the current and previous values. Example Solution using assignment expression column equals for Python, equals 3.8 Create a sequence of tuples by zipping the list with a sequence that prepends the first element of the list to the list, the resulting sequence of tuples pairs the first element with itself, so that abs xx is guaranteed less than 1, and each other element with its preceding element. Then, If you prefer, you can define prepend as shown in the ITA tools documentation, and write. You can also just use ordinary list slicing in this case instead of islis, which is essentially just inlining the aforementioned prepend function, as lsd column 1, equals equals, lsd 0. A little later but, here there is another solution, perhaps is not the most Pythonic way. Maybe you could consider a recursive approach. The function reduce underscore list receive as parameter a list, your LSD variable, and the current item of this list, the first one. There is a variable named list underscore result that will store the items that accomplish the condition. If the list has only one item, then we don't have against what compare it, for that reason we will return list underscore result. Otherwise we get the next item in the list, the second one, and if the condition is true, then we store that item. If the condition is false, then we save the last one current and stop the recursion. Output, 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 1.1. <laughs>